What's up everybody, it's Kyoto, and welcome back to more SMT DX2. Today we're going to be featuring the Reaper X-Tab. This is a very viable unit because it does various things. Not only is it a magic user, it's an ailment user as well, and has a potential of doing a one-shot KO, which we'll be getting into in just a little bit. So first, taking a look at the stats here, we have a high magic stat. Good for dishing out some magic damage, especially as a mage, but I'd say that that's not the main point of using your X-Tab. With the high luck stat that it has, it's much easier to get those ailments to stick and also prevent them from sticking onto yourself. So this is a very viable ailment user in my opinion, but it has a few more gimmicks that other ailment users don't, which makes Ixtab a lot more interesting. Now looking at the defense stats, defense stats are relatively low, but you kind of want that because of the unique passive, and we'll be getting into that just shortly. And lastly, looking at the elemental weaknesses, having a weakness to light isn't so bad, especially in PvP, and having that repel drain helps you prevent the one-shot KO from Alice's die for me, so that's just one one-shot KO that you're allowed to dodge. So, it's kind of nice. Moving on to the skills. First off, we're going to be checking out the unique passive Yaxche. Now, Yaxche is very useful for this one reason, that when Ixtab dies on your opponent's turn, Ixtab automatically kills your opponent with a almighty attack. So that can be prevented by Huang Long's five elements, but if they don't have that up, you pretty much just kill them. It goes straight through Endure and Enduring Soul, so you don't have to worry about those. You do have to worry about Null Mortal in PvE, but you shouldn't have to worry about that in PvP. So if they're using a high DBS attacker and just wipes most of your team, but it happens to kill your Ixtab, you get to kill that unit too, and that's really, really strong, especially for those power swings in the middle of a match where you might have just lost. Aside from that, we have an AoE skill, Mamu Dune. We have a single target skill, Bufadine. Those are pretty good, they're all right. They're mage skills for your high mage stat, but you won't always be using that on Ixtab. Yellow version of Ixtab has Mahashi Baboon as the awakening skill, so that gives you a chance to inflict bind on all enemies. Since this is the upgraded version, it's Mahashi Baboon instead of Mahashi Babu, so there's a 40% chance to inflict on all enemies instead of the usual 30%. Thus, it costs the same amount because it's the Awakening skill, so only 6, you can use that on your first turn. So very viable in my opinion, although I'd say it's very difficult to level up because it's a second level skill. The purple version of Ixtab has Berserker as the Awakening skill, which allows you to deal more damage, but also makes you take more damage. In this case, it can be really good for Ixtab, especially if you leave it at level 1, so you can make your team really slow, and at level 1, your HP isn't that high, which makes a lot of the AI try to attack and or kill Ixtab instead of your other units, and they'll tunnel vision that down. So, especially with the Yaxcha passive, they'll try to tunnel vision Ixtab into death, killing themselves, and you can just revive your Ixtab and keep on that process. So in that case, having a level 1 Ixtab isn't all that bad and can be extremely viable. Doesn't have to be purple, but I'd say that's the most viable for that strategy. I like having the yellow archetype because having Mahashi Baboon allows you to put on ailments onto your opponents, which I think is extremely useful. And because you want to be sticking ailments, you do kind of want your luck stat to be up there. So. You want to kind of like evolve and max out your level of your X tab in that case. Along with Mahashi Baboon, I put Maha Marin Karen because giving yourself a second ailment on your ailment users allows you to kind of get around things if they have per se null charm, null bind, null mute, and those are mainly going to be your top three ailments in the game. So as long as you're covering two out of the three of those, you should be okay. Usually you want to be covering bind and charm because mute you can still attack with your physical attackers and so your physical DPS won't be having that much of a problem. Now moving on to the brands, I'm using Divine and Ward brands. Divine mainly because I want to get that turn 1 ailment off, so it only costs 6 MP. Thus if you have the Divine brands on, it allows you to get that ailment off, which is basically just making this team a little bit more versatile, because if you're going first, then you might not be able to do an ailment if you don't have your Divine brands on. But if you're going second, maybe it doesn't matter so much. I also have Ward Brands on here just in case there's a Mother Harlot, because even if your opponent can't stick an ailment on you, if there's a Mother Harlot at all on the enemy team, then there's still a chance that you're going to get hit with charms, so I just have that on there just in case. But otherwise I'd say it's not always so necessary. Now I did stack a lot of ailment infliction because this is the yellow version of Ixtab. However, if you're going for the level 1 build of Ixtab, then you want to avoid putting on any HP or defense for that matter, so that you can just make sure that you're getting hit and killing yourself so that you kill your opponent, so that you can revive and then repeat the process. So overall, I'd say that you want to build into your magic attack stat most prominently, and you don't have to worry about the other things as much. So that kind of helps you out in terms of brand management, because you can throw on all of your decent magic attack brands that didn't have good tertiaries onto this character. So you can kind of see this as a nice filler, it really works out for your Ixtab and all your other units so you don't have to waste your really good brands on this one. 
All right, so I'm gonna be showing off Ixtab and random PvP in various teams. So we're gonna see what works and what doesn't. Because as good as this unit is, there's always ways around it, just like with any other unit. So you can kind of see what the good and bad sides are gonna be for this unit if you are intending to build it up. Hope you enjoy. First team I'm gonna be bringing in today will be one of my main farming teams. I would usually replace the Ixtab with Wong D, but not all the time because it really depends on how the meta is going. Sometimes it's better to have all these ailments in here because they have the main three. It helps me get around a lot of things. And uh, we can do some shenanigans, but also because it has the anti fizz. If you don't have Rama, you kind of have to go with the Ollie lot. So it is there just to prevent ourselves from getting Masakado'd or Huang Deed, however you want to call it. Because we hit most of them though, I think I want to just chance it. They're going to be doing a lot of damage though, which can be really bad. Okay, Moscato hits. Oh, killed the Yauche, okay. Yeah, 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 Yauche got him. And we got him back! Whoa! Oh, Sadon. I usually hate Sadon's ability, but this is the first time this actually came in handy. I'm not joking, this is crazy. This never happens. Wow. Alright, might as well charm him. So please, if you must. Oh, thank goodness. You could hit somebody else, but I mean, like, sure, that works. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Alright, so yeah, we're off to a incredible start. This is much better than I imagined. So, yeah. Can't say it'd go any faster. And because defense support's not activated, we still have over 100 HP. We don't have to worry about getting hit by that. I think I want to make sure that our Trumpeter stays alive. And just dish out the damage from here. Don't have to do the revive if he's not dead. Bam! Killed yourself! Nice! Very nice. Now we need to get one more, which would be awesome, but I don't think we'll be able to hit that off. Unless... Okay. I want to see <laughs> what could happen. I don't think you'd be able to kill it, to be honest. But at least we could get close. That'd be funny. And I just mute him down. This is gonna be the end. Unless he recarmdras, which usually is very possible off of the crit, because I see a lot of them crit and then recarmdra, and it's really dumb. But it happens, definitely. Lucky Skip didn't need big damage, and he's pretty much dead. No endure. I don't see why he would. Although I have seen like a few of those. Not common though. Definitely not. For the past few weeks, it definitely feels like a lot of the teams are becoming the same. Because you definitely see a lot of the Alilots and the Hekas. Because, I mean, they are very easy units to get. But still, I mean, they're very, very effective. And there's not much else that you could really throw in there, which kind of sucks. So, yeah, I can see why the meta has kind of settled its way in. But it does feel a little bit weird. I mean, yeah, we do have to just play around the meta. But it would be nice to get some other units in, you know? So that'd be cool, if that was ever a thing. Although I feel like this game does not like to nerf. They definitely just like throwing out a bunch of buffs to other units that don't really matter. Or, like, I don't know, it's weird things. Weird, weird things, man. It's, I don't know how to explain it. It's just that they're not fixing the main problems. That's really the best way to put it, if any. So we got rid of the Samry Karm here. Um, I don't know if we're going to be dealing with any more of those, but I doubt we're going to be dealing with damage, so let's just bring him back. I bet you I can get a Mahamir and Karen off, but I don't want to do that just yet, actually. kind of want to wait. I kind of want to save my mana for the Mute, just in case they have something stupid. There's Barrier Break. Very weird. Samry Karm Barrier Break. Hmm. So maybe that was for the X-Tab, but the X-Tab had like no HP, which is really weird. I mean, yeah, it's the way you're supposed to build them, but... Hmm, the way that they had it set up. Doesn't seem like it was built for ailments. Can I charm Alilot? Nope. I can get close though. So I have no more revives, so I'm gonna make sure that they don't get a revive. Could be bad. 
But they're also not hitting, so... Yeah. Not too worried. Let's see if we can... Charm? Ooh, all of them, nice. I should pretty much cover it. Almost done. How about you? Bam! Ooh! Tasty! Okay, cleanup crew, cleanup crew. Now, the X-Tab single target damage is really gonna come in handy here. This is why I have the magic attack stat boosted. 461, not bad. How much is this gonna do? 378, but it's an AoE. Any weakness? Yeah. Because they had Mott. Mott with the Repel Force. I'm trying out something a little bit weird this time. I was thinking about putting in a Chupacabra for the Barrier Break, but... Not sure how it really turned out, to be honest with you. And, um, this may be a bad team to be going second against, because it looks like they're a ailment team. Let's hope that they don't get off what they need. Oh, Mahaman Karen. Oh, no, never mind. Well, that's a problem, too. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, uh-oh. That could be really, really bad. Can you get rid of this guy? He's not dead. Okay. Um. Hmm. What to do? Maha Marin Karen. Please work. Nope. <laughs> I didn't get what I needed. That's for sure. Oh no, we need barrier break. Oh god, V. Why are you so powerful? At least I'm not dead. At least. Cause god dang. That really sucks. Uh oh. We're gonna be dealing with a huge problem. Um, oh jeez, oh jeez. Um, how do we get rid of this problem? We have to stop them. We have to stop them. Okay, please miss. Okay, no, that's that's fine. That could work. That that's fine. Do you have barrier left? I think his barrier is up, so I don't need barrier break anymore. This might work. It might actually happen. Uh, wow. Nope. That didn't work. And you're still bound! Cert, no! Cert. Please. This is a battle. This is not a battle I wanted to be fighting. Weakness to force? No, to fire? Mmm, yeah, resistances. Hit him with force. And I want to hit you. Gotta get rid of that co the concentrate there. Almost forgot what it was called. And you go down. You're not dead. Oh my god. Um. All right. What about you? Repel dark. So I can't be using that. How about ice weakness open? Yes. Lovely. And I don't know if I'll be able to hit this. Oh, okay. I figured. Now let's not get hit with charm or mute. I mean like bind, because that's what he has. Okay, they have bind and charm, which is actually quite effective. If that works. Though luckily we broke out first turn. You know, a lot of the time we're fighting these like tanky revived teams on defense, but you definitely see those really fast ailment teams and even some biker teams too. I feel like biker teams less common, but ailment teams are like that cheese that a lot of people like to do just to get those extra few wins in there and honestly it's just there to create another meta because it doesn't do too much in my opinion it doesn't win you as much as it should which kind of sucks so um, I mean like of course they exist but having them oh man it really sucks dealing with ailment teams doesn't it it just makes you have to put in another unit just to have to deal with it but they exist so that you have to do that otherwise the game would be pretty one-sided and also very easy to read. So luckily you don't. Brahm's drug just did nothing, holy moly. But of course the two people I don't hit are the ones that can kill me. And we're pretty much screwed. Good, good stuff, alright. Um, hmm. Do they have revive besides Hekka? And even if they did, it's probably Rekarmja, right? So it won't work until the second unit dies. Okay, good. So he probably has Rekarmja. Which means... Boom. 
Oh, I'm gonna heck our cots. It sucks because we can't hit Mother Harlot just yet. And okay, so let's take down Rama or not. Never mind, uh, we're not gonna be doing that today. We're gonna be dying. So what else what else can I do today? I'll sit back, watch. Oh, okay. Got buffed. Interesting. Did not kill though. Did not kill the X tab. There we go. Alright. Now that's what I wanted. And we're pretty much lost. Yep. So, I don't think I'll be able to kill off their team at this point. And especially if we're missing like that. Like, holy moly, dude. Wow. That is painful. Um, yeah. Problems? Problems are to be had? Ooh. Yeah. Uh, I'm dead. <laughs> it, it looked so close. It really did. Like, can you hit him? You can hit him, but not... The person that has more accuracy. I am not impressed. But then again, okay. Since we can't end with fire. Alright, we deserve it. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have, but I did. Oh, oh, if only. If only we had more revive. Goodbye. Myself. This is a little bit of a fast team I built. Um, it kind of has the extra revive in there just to keep the X-Tab going. But honestly, we have enough revive with the Recarm on my Nurgle. So we're going to see how this goes, especially if they kill us fast. It's actually, in a way, better as long as it's single target. Not so much like getting hit by Vorpal Blade, which we might. So let's figure this out. Um, could be very, very bad. But we hit them all the week. They all had charm, so no null mute. And I think we'll be okay. Oh, we got that. Okay. I'm gonna go for the extra big punish. Concentrate. And you recover. That kind of sucks. And you recover. That kind of sucks. But you didn't! Yeah! Oh, that's good. At least the Masakado didn't recover. And now we can blow him up. Boop. I kind of want to wait for Bind. Yeah, because Bind will stop V from using his passive. One of the few things that he's actually really good for. Don't want a tr chance hitting anything. So let's go with Bind. Good. Good. Triple good. Alright. Now we can start building up the Trumpeter. Now the way that my turn order is set up is very, very important. So yeah, I just want to point that out because it really is the whole turn setup that keeps this whole dream alive. It's because nobody can hit me back. I think I'll just go for this. Bam. Can't miss those. Extra damage. Enduring Souls are up. Covered from weak, but still is charmed. Card from Bind, still has Charm, and you killed yourself! Haha, <laughs> yes! Um, hmm, okay, so I have a problem here, because I have Recarm, but that's not gonna revive enough. Now I'll just show it off because I can, because I probably won't lose. At least not here, hopefully. But yeah, it only heals up to 107, because that's how much I have uh, for my max HP. So, I can't survive the second defense support wave. Thus, I will just have to try to kill this guy off straight up. Pretty much. 